Hey everyone, it's Amanda Moxley and I am known as a Healthy Wealthy Biz Mentor and I help women create profitable, portable and playful businesses because you all are working way too hard and you know it. And my mantra is that the more they the more that I play, the more they pay. So um, <laughs> uh, more on that later. Anywho, but I want to give you your tip for the week. And this has to do with value, okay? I work with so many coaches and you're struggling with um, deciding what to charge. And even if you're in the sales conversation, you might clamp down and undercharge or give your things away for free or discount or something. And so I want to give you some really good tips in terms of valuing yourself and knowing the lifetime transformation of what you're providing, okay? Okay, are you ready? Get ready. I'm going to give you a lot of good tips. Number one, you have to realize that people like to buy things. Okay, like when, I mean, don't you like to go out and buy yourself something or go out and go shopping and get something, right? People like to buy things. And what they're buying is, it's not, has nothing to do with you. You are just the person who is providing that service. However, what it has to do with is the container of the transformation that they are buying. They're buying into this because they want to get from where they are to where they want to go. So really, you're just the middle person. Okay, so really people like to buy things, number one. Tip number two is that you have to realize the transformational value of what you're providing. If someone wants to lose, for example, I used to have a program called, when I was a health coach, it was called um, Fit, Fab, and Fierce, release up to 50 pounds in five months. And that was like the promise that people would lose up to 50 pounds in five months. People were purchasing that for $5,000 because they wanted to they were like, it's like ice climbing. They're putting the stick in or they're putting their, you know, their ice axe into the ice and they're saying, this is what I'm holding on to. This is a placeholder. And from that step to the next step to the next step, and they will climb and they'll reach their goals. Now, no one lost 50 pounds in those five months. However, they did lose those, you know, they lost up to 50 pounds a few months later. So I taught them the skills. I taught them the foundation and they made up in their mind that, yes, I am transforming this. Yes, I am releasing up to 50 pounds at five months. So you um, got to realize that it's about the transformation you're providing and you need to have a big enough container, which is step number three, have a big enough container of your price point so you can hold them. If you're saying, oh, it's just 197 to release up to 50 pounds in five months, I mean, that is kind of a weaker holding spot. But if you're, if you charge, you know, more skin in the game and you charge something that they actually have to show up and work for and be accountable for and pay for, they're going to change and transform a lot faster. So that would be tip number three is thinking about like the big container, hold that big container of transformation for people. That is a really important part. Okay. Now the other tip is you don't want to price what uh, what you see other people pricing. You know, it, most you know in the beginning, you know, you'll look around and people are like, oh, I charge seventy five or a hundred dollars a session. You don't want to think about charging us per session or poor or for. Um, or, or, or even $75 to $100. I mean, you cannot do the math. You cannot reach multiple six figures making 100 bucks an hour. So you've got to put yourself first and you have to think about what are your needs? What are your wants? How much money do you want to make? Yeah, you. You're in business. Businesses are in business to make money. They're not here for charitable causes unless you're a nonprofit. <laughs> do you like how I'm dishing it out for you today? So Really, um, don't look around and see what everyone else is charging and then charge that much. You got to price accordingly to what your sole money goal is. How much money do you want to make? And then reverse engineer back, back that way to figure out how much you need to be making per hour. Okay. And then the last tip is it is really not about you. It is about being that tremendous, um, you know, catalyst, a transformational catalyst for your client to transform. You are holding the space. You're providing the value. You're pro providing the accountability and the support. And that is extremely valuable. And I guess one other thing I will add to this is that. You know, in our industry, people don't just sit around and value or even understand what a coach is, right? They don't get it. They just think, oh, you're a life coach or, oh, okay, so you're a basketball coach. They don't really understand. So, however, society does value dentists and engineers and architects and lawyers and doctors. It's up to us to value ourselves. It's up to you to value yourself and to value the lifetime transformation that you are providing for your clients. So my coach's request for you this week is to seriously go out there 
to own your value and to re- shift your mindset to realize people like to buy things. They want to buy something. And what you're buying, it, it, what they're buying from you is that placeholder, is that transformational value of where they are from where they are today to where they want to go. That's going to be a game changer for you. All right. I hope you like that. I love hearing your comments. Like it's so exciting that to go to the blog and see that you, you're sending me comments and I get to see who you are and go check you out on Facebook. So please do me a favor. If you found value in this, comment, give me your feedback and also share this with your friends. Pass it around. Let the good news out. All right. Thank you. You can find out more about me and um, things that I do and say and offer at amandamoxley.com. And I'm also on social media, Facebook at Amanda Moxley. Uh, you'll find me there. Instagram, Amanda, Ma- Amanda J. Moxley. And then here on YouTube and my website, amandamoxley.com. Thanks. I hear my kids calling. I better go. Have a beautiful day. Peace, love, and blessings. Namaste.